All right, let's start with the Tampa police chief situation. And Mary O'Connor is the Tampa police chief. And, you know, we've met her. She was in the studio, I don't know, uh, before she was actually... Uh, confirmed by city council confirmed. that she was appointed to the position. Yeah, so the, the situation with Mary O'Connor is back on November 12th at 7.26 p.m., she and her husband were pulled over in a golf cart in, was it Odessa? You I, said I, you said uh, it was no, uh, uh, East Lake Woodlands. Well, Oldsmar area? Well, all right. It, I'm sorry. Uh, not Odessa. Oldsmar. Right. I, 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 East I, Lake yeah. Woodlands? Yeah. That's where that's, we take tennis right. lessons. That's I, where I grew up. I, here's the story from ABC Action News. Tampa Police Chief Mary O'Connor said that she used poor judgment when she was stopped by a Pinellas County Sheriff's deputy for operating a golf cart without a license plate in Oldsmar. Tampa police said that O'Connor, Chief O'Connor, was stopped while riding in the golf cart with her spouse. He was driving. So the husband was actually driving the golf cart. The incident was recorded on the Pinellas County Sheriff deputy's body camera During the encounter, O'Connor asked the deputy if his camera was rolling before telling him that she was the Tampa police chief and then showed the deputy her badge and then says, I'm hoping you'll just let us go. Now, here's the audio. This is the audio from the body cam. And again, this happened back on November 12th, and it just came to light yesterday. So... Somebody made a Somebody public. Somebody knew about this. That, yeah, well, listen, how would anybody have known that well, the cop just pulled this particular be, person beca- over? Because the deputy that pulled the golf cart over containing the chief of police from the city of Tampa, obviously the deputy is going to tell some of his buddies on his squad, or hey, I pull. And I'm sure word traveled that the Tampa police chief was pulled over in a golf cart with no tag on the road uh, in Pinellas County. And it starts spreading through the department. And then uh, somebody made a, a public records request, I'm sure, for the body cam footage, which is all public record. Yes. Then the body cam footage comes out. And bam, here we are almost a month later. And now this has turned into a story. Now, the first clip uh, that I have is... It is... A minute and 17 seconds. All right, so let's listen to how this went down from the Pinellas County Sheriff's Deputy's body cam. Good evening. How you doing? Good. I'm Deputy Chicago with the Sheriff's Office. Stopped you because you driving tag or uh, unregistered vehicle with no tag on it on the roadway. Yeah, we were. We went to the club. It was closed, so we went over and picked up some... Is your camera on? It is. Uh, so she... Asks if your camera is on. So is that Mr. O'Connor speaking first or the gentleman driving speaking first? And then the chief goes, is your camera on or is that all the chief talking? Which part? Hold on. I'll play it again here. Good evening. That's the deputy. Right. Good evening. How you talking? Good. I'm Deputy Chicago with the Sheriff's Office. Stopped you because you driving tag or uh, unregistered vehicle with no tag on it on the roadway. Yeah, we were. We went to the club. It was closed. So we went over and. Picked up some. Is your camera on? It is. Yeah, I think that was yeah, the husband just... first, and then the, they then, sound a lot alike. Then, yeah. then the chief that. says, "Is your camera on the body cam?" I'm the police chief in Tampa. Oh, how you doing? I'm doing good. Okay. I'm hoping that you'll just let us go tonight. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'll say. Uh, now that you say I, I, you look familiar, so. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure I do. Okay. Ooh. So, all right, folks. So, yeah. So. Oh, chief. Come on, take, take it from a very low-level local celebrity. You don't drop the. I'm sure I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> take, um, it, take it from like the lowest yeah. of local celebrities. I watch a great YouTube channel where it's only videos of cops arresting cops, and you cannot let them go these days. Like no. the cameras, you yeah, just yeah. can't. Yeah, and all of them are like, "Come on, man, take care I, of us. We're a brotherhood." And and they're the like, o- "I'm sorry." The I officer, yeah. Officer Jacoby, gave a. A, a very professional courtesy. He, you know, he, you know, oh, well, hello, I, I recognize right. you. Right, now, hang on, let me roll the rest of the video. There's a lot to discuss here. Oh, man. So, uh, have a good night staying over here in East Lake Woodlands. Yeah, we, we live do. in East Lake Woodlands. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So, we live in East Lake Woodlands. 
Nice. Uh, apparently, she has a Tampa house as well. Uh, but you have a house in Tampa wh- and one in Oldsmar. Where, where does she actually reside? Does it matter? It, I mean, it, officers live all over the place. Yeah, but I. He's I mean, like you like nice him? Area. I'm not I, running for Congress. Yeah, I, I kind of want the chief of police to live in in the city. You know, she lives ten minutes away. Big deal. It's, it is. It's right there. Yeah, I, I, don't it's Tampa. I don't care. I don't care that she lives on the other side of but, in another county. But they do have. I, I believe she does have a Tampa address as well. But what's inappropriate is trying to use some influence to wiggle out and uh, let's roll the rest here. Well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> so I'm Deputy Jacoby. Okay. Same here, my friend. All right. Take so, care of yourself. All right. Sorry take care. To bother you. All right. No worries. No worries. Like, say, we have a lot of problem with the uh, the golf carting around here. You know. Yeah, the golf carting's a mess. I, Wait, does know. he let her go? Well, he let her go. I'm also surprised. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that's that's part of the controversy you now. Can't do so, that. So, well, here's the issue. Also, I got an issue with the chief of police in Tampa on a golf cart on the regular road. It's just dangerous. I mean, if anyone should know. A golf cart that would be hit by a regular vehicle, a pickup truck, a truck, it's over. It's lights out. You don't stand a chance if you're hit by a real car going 25, 30 miles an hour if you're on a flimsy golf cart that'll bust apart and splinter like balsa wood. Right, what road was she on? I mean, was she not on a sidewalk? Was she not in a uh, She was on plaza? US 19 in the middle lane. Okay, I don't No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't I'm think sorry. that was no, the no, case. No, no. It was McMullen Booth. Yeah. No, 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 we don't normally come out. We never the club come was out. closed, we never, so we saw to the Greek place to get some food. Uh, they said they going to the Greek place to get some food. They were pulled over in what looks like a bank parking lot. Because you can yes. see the teller lanes. They were in some bank parking lot. Sure, okay. All right. All right, then. We'll take care. And uh, it was nice meeting you. All right. <laughs> oh, all right. If you ever need anything, call me. Uh, so That's she... Right. She whips out her uh, business card. If you need anything, call me. That's just professional networking right there. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> if you ever get pulled over in the city of Tampa for, like, driving on the sidewalks, give me a call. Hey, I get we'll, that. We'll make that yeah. disappear. Hey, you know? Fester, you'd be like, hey, if you need an RV, call me. Yeah, Here listen, you go. Listen, that is the least egregious thing in the whole thing. They're making friends. If you need anything, call right. me. I think that's a polite way to wrap the whole thing up. Okay. Serious. All right. Thank Appreciate you. that. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. So. Thank you for your service. Thank you for yours. Thank you. So, take care. All right. Take care. Thank you. Have a good night, folks. All right. So that's the bulk of the body cam footage. And uh, got a couple of statements before we move on from the chief of police and from the mayor, Jane Castor. Remember, with Mary O'Connor, there was a bit of controversy with the appointment because of the story uh, back in 1995, there was a traffic stop and... Uh, O'Connor was young, this was 1995, and she apparently hit a deputy and kicked a a patrol car's window, was arrested on battery on a law enforcement officer, and they forced her to, like, resign, but then she was reinstated, she was rehired after a no-contest plea. And listen, you can make amends, and uh, she served the Tampa Police Department uh, well for many, many years. Yeah, I'm not trying to dig up things that happened 30 years ago, no, isolated but that, incidents. That, that came up. That was It was a pretty big deal, but that came up during the whole uh, uh, ratification or the, uh, the approval uh, process through city council. And listen, Mary O'Connor has served the city of Tampa well and has done a lot of good things. The optics of what happened in the golf cart, trying to pull some rank or trying to, you know, look for some uh, consideration, that's what appears to be inappropriate here. And, you know, some of the other audio bites, like uh, the camera. Is your camera on? It is. I'm the police chief in Tampa. So what would have, if he said his camera was not on, what would have changed in the conversation? Because... She finds out the camera's on and just puts a lot of things on video that you might not want to be seen on video. Like, is your camera on? And and I'm hoping that you'll just let us go tonight. All right. So I follow several uh, conspiracy websites. Right. And the first thing you can ask an officer when you're doing the initial meeting, is your camera on? That's a perfectly legitimate question. Right. Because now there's official government documentation of this incident. Uh, of then, the traffic stop or whatever the encounter if is. If you are recording okay. in your vehicle, you can tell the officer at that time, I am also recording this interaction. All right. But then the first thing out of her mouth is, I'm the chief of Tampa. I hope you let us go. <laughs> chief, <laughs> chief right. he just said the camera's on. Here's, I'm, what's the worst that would have happened? 
These are two people. They weren't. They weren't just deal you know, with. They it. weren't you know, drunk. You probably. I deserve what I get. They, they, they would have got a warning. A, a the warning. couple they, said, hey, guys, yeah, they, what's the deal? The, the, the deal that should have happened, the way that she should have played this is you don't try to pull the do you know who I am. You don't flash the badge. They probably would have gotten out of it. They probably would have just gotten a warning, at, like you said, and then you wouldn't have this this whole mess. Officer Jacoby was doing his due diligence by pulling over a vehicle that wasn't right. licensed, and he was checking it out. If this person was drunk, there would have been an arrest. If this here, person had drugs on him, it would have been an arrest. Here is the statement from Chief Mary O'Connor, the city of Tampa police chief. She wrote, it was poor judgment on our part to be driving a golf cart on a public roadway without the appropriate tags. You know how I feel. I don't think you should be on roadways with a golf cart with with tags or anything. I think it's dangerous as hell. Then she continues, this was the first time we had exited the golf cart friendly community in which we own property with this vehicle, prompting the need for a license plate. In hindsight, I realize how my handling of this matter could be viewed as inappropriate, but that was certainly not my intent. I knew my conversation was on video and my motive was not to put the deputy in an uncomfortable position. I have personally called the Pinellas County Sheriff offering to pay for any potential citation. I have expressed great remorse to the mayor, and I apologize to the residents of Tampa oh, who have a reasonable expectation of better judgment from their chief of police. As someone who has dealt with, taken ownership of, and grown from my past mistakes, and that's true, I know no one is above the law, including me. All right? This is just a bad look. Uh, mm -hmm. Then uh, Tampa Mayor Jane Castor. This is the bad part. Also put out a statement saying we hold everyone accountable. And remember, Jane Castor was a very large proponent and pushed the confirmation and appointed uh, O'Connor uh, for chief. And there was controversy like uh, you know, because of the 1995 incident. Jane Castor issued a statement that said we hold everyone accountable no matter their position. And this behavior was unacceptable. Chief O'Connor will go through the due process and face appropriate discipline. Now, would this be just a, a reprimand? Would this be a suspension? Could this be a termination? Uh, you know, I, I, so, I, I certainly don't feel it's terminatable. Yeah, I don't know if it's... Ter I, I just... It's a bad look. It, it, that's what it comes down to. It, it, was there a, a legal problem here? It's more like it's just a bad look and a public relations thing. I, know, I'm sorry, Rox. No, go for it. If, if, if I'm the chief and and Bob Buckhorn was mayor. I, I wouldn't be that worried. You know, come on, you know, Bob. But I, I personally fear Mayor Jane. <laughs> I believe she can kick my ass. And uh, I certainly want, wouldn't want to be on Mayor Jane's bad side. And you're putting the mayor in such a bad spot. And that's what it is. Yeah. You know. So uh, I I have a question. Yes. Maybe you guys said this, but yep. I, I've kind of missed it. Yep. Where was she pulled over again? Or where was he pulled she over? Would, uh, they were pulled over in a golf cart in East Lake. Because I'm very familiar with that in, area. In Oldsmar, and it looked like they were in a bank parking lot. They were on the regular road, and then I I guess, I don't know the exact road they were on, but they pulled off the road into the bank parking lot, and that's when the Pinellas County Deputy Sheriff lit them up. And where did they say that they were going? To the Greek place. I think okay, the were... Greek place. Well, the Greek place is at Boot Ranch Plaza, so they would have had to have crossed East Lake Road, a very Ugh. busy yeah. road, to Ugh. get there. Ugh. Or Tampa Road, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a bunch of, busy, road, it's right. a bunch of busy nope. intersections, and that's why they got pulled over in the first place. I am so vehemently opposed to golf carts being on regular roads we know. that are shared <laughs> with cars and trucks because of the safety. I see maniac parents with little kids crossing West Shore, where people are doing 55 and a 30. My neighbor used to take her kids to school because the school was sort of in the neighborhood, but oh, you had to cross a couple streets, and she would take her. You would see her kids just hanging off the back. That's insane. So, Jay, you know how you brought the scenario? I think yep. you saw a couple of uh, moms in your neighborhood with uh, oh with open container. Oh, I've seen moms drinking, driving the golf cart, holding wine glasses. That's a DUI. So, Officer Jacoby sees these people in the golf cart. Right. If they would have had like a glass of wine each, that's an arrest. That's an arrest. A you glass know, of wine? Or whatever their deal is. Yeah. 
but the, the, you can't drink wine while you're driving a golf cart, riding a horse, or, uh, no, or driving a no, car. They were not, but right. but I've seen that in my neighborhood. Mommies driving golf carts, drink, holding glasses of wine. But that's a perfectly right. legitimate pullover. <laughs> 